look how pretty. So, you know, I told you that this was a different type of lavender, and I think you can actually see it with your eyes, right? This is the big blue lavender, so you're getting huge flowers on this new exciting type of lavender and it is lavender that's going to bloom all season long for you. They are perennials. They will come back year after year after year. And I can't even believe this. They're seven dollars and 63 cents a plant. Now, anyone who does online shopping for plants, I know in the mornings I like to sit and have my coffee and plan my garden. It's my thing. <laughs> that's what I like to do. And so, you know, I know what it costs to go to online retailers and start popping plants into your cart online. $7.63 a plant, and we're not going to charge you free, or we're not going to charge you shipping and handling. That's going to be on us. So I want to go right now to Katie Debro from Cottage Farm. She brought that beauty, beautiful patio rose to us, the patio tree. Katie, these would be really beautiful under that patio rose tree. Oh, I'm sorry, I was just inhaling the scent of the lavender. You so are so awesome. right, Sandra. And I, that's why I love doing gardening shows with you. You know so much about oh, plants. You're Lavender kind. and roses are such great companions. They they take the same kind of sun, take the same kind of soil, and lavender helps ward off some of the pests that your roses get. So absolutely, I wouldn't put them in the same container as the roses, though. Yeah, plant them around the ground. Okay, so I want to show you what you're going to get. You're going to get three plants, but then... This is a very different kind of lavender, Katie. Explain to everybody watching at home what makes it so special. Well, we love lavender at Cottage Farms, and I particularly love lavender. I have so much of it, and I want all different kinds. I want the kinds that are going to be really big and tall, so they take up a lot of space. But you know what I really want more of is the short lavender. I want the lavender that I can put in my borders and my walkways. So when I do walk by it, it hasn't flopped over entirely into my walkway where I'm crunching on it and I can brush by it. So I actually enjoy that scent. That's the big blue. It's only about 12 to 15 inches tall. It is super compact. So not only now is it great for your borders, put it in containers. Those great containers Susan Butterworth just had, you can grow this big blue anywhere, which is so cool. That Plus, is very yes, cool. Yes, you said it. Yeah, yeah, and you said it, it's in the name. I mean, the, the flowers are enormous. And of course, we always are on the hunt for that true blue flower. They're going to still be purple and violety, but they're a deeper, richer violet, as you can see here. It is just that bold purple that we want in our lavender. So that is really awesome, right? So you have a more compact lavender, but with bigger flowers that bloom and bloom and bloom and bloom. Now, like other lavender, I'm assuming that it's gonna like as much sun as you can give it, right? You got it, yes. Lavender loves full, full sun, so that's at least six hours a day. And it doesn't love um, really wet feet. So it doesn't love a soil that's going to be a super thick clay soil. It likes what we call a sandy loam, something that is a soil that drains really well, particularly if we're talking about our containers. If you're putting it in a container, make sure that you get a potting soil, not something that you would dig up out of your, your backyard. But the nice thing about that is you don't have to baby this. You're not going to be yes. taking the watering can out to your lavender every day or it droops. In fact, you want to give it a nice start and water it well that first season. But Katie, th or this is lavender that even in like a little bit of a drought, you're still going to have big blue fluffy flowers. Oh, even in a big time drought. Yes, lavender actually loves to be ignored. So, you know, if you're thinking, oh, I really love the bake or I want to sprinkle some of those dried lavender flowers in my bath, you know, you can have that. You can do that because you ignore this plant. It will give you those flowers all summer long. And I urge you to harvest them, particularly at the end of the season. That's when I cut all of mine back. I dry them. I have tons of them. I tie them in little bouquets. I give them to friends. I save them, I cook with them. Both the leaves, so the green part and the purple, the flowers are edible. So you can do so much with lavender. This is a little a little bouquet that I made last year from mine. So you can do so much with lavender. Keep it and it still keeps its scent. It smells so good. And that's the great thing about lavender. You know, it's not just the flowers that smell, it's the leaves as well. In fact, Katie, one time you and I were presenting lavender and someone, I think it was on Facebook, asked me why I was smelling the leaves. And I said, because actually with lavender, I guess if you didn't know, that might have looked silly. But if you, you know, but the great thing about lavender is just if you even like just pinch and squeeze the leaves, it releases yeah. those oils. And so it might even be nice to put along that front walkway if you come home and you're feeling a little stressed, 
course you can stop and smell the roses, which Katie provided <laughs> earlier, but you might also want to just stop and smell the lavender because it is so soothing. Over 500 sets have been ordered. It's $7.63 a plant. That is an awesome price for any perennial, especially a cottage farms. You're getting quality, you're getting a guarantee and you're getting free shipping and handling. We will deliver these to you at the time that it's right for you to plant them. So, you know, Katie, there are so many different varieties, but I was not familiar with Big Blue. Um, I love this idea of compact, but big flowers. Yes, and that's what people, a lot of people want. You know, we are in small spaces or we just don't want to manage as big of a garden space as we used to. And so we, but we still know you want the impact of the lavender. And so that's why we chose Big Blue for that big, bold, purple flower impact, that delicious fragrance that we all love, that relaxing fragrance, but it's a little easier to, to manage. How nice too, even if you just want to grow this in containers, like maybe put some containers if you're lucky enough to have a pool or maybe you just have a little balcony, mm. you can grow lavender in a container. And if you're going to do that, this is a perfect, perfect selection to do that with because you get all the flowers, but it's not going to be too big for your containers because it is a little more compact. So brand new today, very, very popular. And Katie, when I get these home, um, do you have any tips so we can be successful? And then, you know, we're going to have the lavender come back, obviously, year after year after year. You buy it one time and enjoy it for a long time. Yes. And the other great thing about it is lavender is evergreen in many zones. So, you know, if you get below freezing, maybe not for you, but it will keep its green. So we're always looking for plants that do that. But when you do get it home, remember, it'll be the right time for you to plant. Plop it in the sun until you can do that. Take it out of its plastic. All of our plants come in a little plastic bag. And then I do recommend digging a hole that's a little bit bigger than the size of this little plant uh, pot that it comes in. And then when it starts to bloom is when I would suggest that you fertilize it. We have a great fertilizer, our bud and flower booster and one per one gallon. And you can just do that once in the season because lavender is so easy. That's all you need to do. Make sure it's in that sunny spot at least six hours a day. And then after the first year, that's it. You shouldn't have to care for it ever again. It'll be nice and established and all you need to do is enjoy it. It's nice to have a flower, flowers I should say, that are so pretty that starting second season you can virtually ignore. 1,100 have just been ordered. Katie, thank you so much. I'm so glad these were added to the show. It was such a nice surprise. Me too. Me Thanks. too. Thank you, Sandra. Bye-bye. Okay, I wish everybody could smell how good it smells out here on this set because of that lavender. Also from Cottage Farms, we brought